What's up guys, it's Zach Quinney here, and today we have a brand new video. So, I don't know if you guys have seen, but lately on my Instagram I've been doing a lot of uh, workout voiceovers, so a bit of commentary, and they're very dumb, okay? They're just a <laughs> warning if you haven't seen. It's just me being an idiot, I do some impersonations on there. And I did a Game of Thrones one the other day, and people seem to really like it. They said, do more, so I thought, I need to get this on YouTube because I haven't done it yet. And so that brings me to today's video, which is a push day Game of Thrones style. Now, this is very insane. It's it's like that's why I've been hesitant to put it out there because it's just ridiculous. But that's my personality. Very weird, I guess. A tad, just a tad odd uh, in general. <laughs> just a weird bloke in general. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. And I'm not just jumping on the Game of Thrones bandwagon because it's trending. I'm reading the book now. I'm up to date with the series. I'm not just a, a, a guy that just says, "Yeah, pineapple and pizza. What's up with that?" Like I'm not doing that. Uh, we're actually. This is fun, and I enjoy this. It's just me literally talking shit in my own house. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, let me know if you want to do more. Otherwise, let's get into it. Push Daddy is coming. Alright guys, so this is where the magic happens. This is the new setup. Now, uh, bear with me. These are some new voices that I'm, that I'm working with, and it sometimes takes me a lot of goes. So there might be a few takes. I might come in and out of this picture here but I think um, it's time to train some chess so let's get into it. So starting today's workout with an incline bastard press. Just focus on bending the knee to get the dumbbells up. Don't care how light they are, I just don't want to be king. But anyway, this exercise we're going to do about 4 sets, 10 reps with as heavy as you can go. When it comes to training chest, I do know one thing, Uncle Benjin taught me not to come all the way up, keep the tension on the chest and most importantly Get out your compass, place it on your chest, and make sure your chest is always facing north. One time my chest was west, ended up getting gang bashed by me brothers. The fuckers stabbed me, but I came back from the dead, cause I'm Jon Snow, king of the gym. Now up next we have a machine press, or as I like to call them, a plate loaded Sansa. And the focus here should not be on chest, but should be on Sansa. Sansa? Sorry, is someone selling a Sansa? I'll take four of your best Sansas. No, you will not. I already bought the last Sansa. Buy one Sansa, get one Reek free. Did someone say they're letting me free? No, Reek, and that's what you get for being an absolute prick in the first season. I'm no longer just Bran. I'm much more. Now moving into a low cable fly. And if there's one thing I learned, it's that Khaleesi loves a full upper chest. A tip for this is focus on squeezing your upper stormborn. I hope that in 10 years time Khaleesi will look at me as more than just a friend. Maybe she too will want to f*** my face. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. I can't say that. I may be old, but I do know how to train chest. Night King, did you want to add anything to this? Well said. Now here is one of my favorite exercises for building the delts, the side lateral raise. I'm becoming about 10 to 15 reps here, strict form on the first 10, and don't be afraid to use a bit of momentum on the last 10. I'll be honest, I also love this exercise. You get a fantastic pump in your delts before the compound movement. Get those reps, good boy. Guess who's back for the dumbbell press? Jon Snow. Now I know that I've already done a voiceover, but I want to do another one. Well, I like dumbbell press. Nearly as much as I love Gilly. Did someone say Gillyweed? No, talking about my girlfriend. Fair enough. Who bought Snape in here? It's the wrong TV series. Now where's my daughter? And for fuck's sake, where's my cat? Now, our first exercise for triceps is a cable pushdown. It doesn't even go here! I'm actually a new character, Harry of House Potter. I live in Tywin Lannis' basement. I swear on Hagrid's life, I'm telling the truth. Harry, this is not your series. Now get your sexy ass back under the stairs before I cut your magical balls off in front of Castity Rock. Thanks, but before I leave, I wanted to say that doing the tricep pushdown with your back braced against the back support keeps it a lot more strict and allows you to get a proper range of motion without swinging or using momentum. Good tip. Now leave. Now after all that, moving into an isolation exercise. For the triceps, of course. 
Now, I like using these because the tension is evenly spread. I am able to stretch my triceps and then squeeze them at the end. Although a peculiar problem when doing dumbbell extension is I don't feel all that comfortable with the lockout. Online trolls want to crucify me for this, but then again, my balls are already chopped off. So stick them in your mouth. The last exercise for triceps, dips. And sometimes I like to start my workout with dips, and other times I like to end it. If I was doing them in the beginning, I probably strap weight to myself. But keep in mind if you strap too much weight to yourself, you may burst your eyeballs out of your own head. Piss. Go heavy or go home. Well, that's one way to injure yourself. Oh, the door. <laughs> I can't, that's it. Now that is it for me guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you did, make sure you let me know in the comments, share it around as best as you can. Uh, and, and if you want me to make more, I'll make more or different themes, maybe Harry Potter one or something. But anyway, it's different. It's a little bit informative, but it's mainly just for the lol. So uh, that's it for me guys. Like this video, plus plus plus. Subscribe to the channel and you guys definitely, definitely know what to do. Stay massive. Slide into your DMs in the PM and the AM. Then I slide into your feelings when you see just what I'm saying.